my life. They do not want you to see this. So we're starting a vegan fried chicken company. Um, the mission is very much to spare animals and reduce suffering. Uh, we chose chickens because they're the most abused animals uh, in the UK. We are about to enter a factory farm, um, something that I've never thought I'd ever be doing. I, I've been in factory farms myself, um, but Adam's from a restaurant background and never experienced this stuff before, so... None. We felt that we wanted to experience what it's like for chickens. So Adam, how do you feel about doing this, going into a farm? Anxious, um, nervous, not something that I'm happy about doing. Yeah, not entirely comfortable, but uh, I'm looking forward to, to understanding more of what's actually going on. We both feel that we're setting this company up. It's not about making money. It's not about building a huge business, although we'd like to do that. But the real reason for setting this company up is it's all about sparing animals. It's about people actually understanding the truth of what is going on. Yeah. Yeah. And then let, let people make their own minds up. my life. Oh my God. It's disgusting. Look, that, bed, that bird can't even walk. There's another one there. Look, they're all sitting down. I see there's another one here, look. It's What would they do in this situation? The farmer or the farm workers, they come into the farm and the first job is to cull, basically kill, um, all of the sick or injured chickens. I am sorry. When you were running your, your restaurant and you were cooking chickens, did you ever make the connection between you know, the chicken that arrives from right. the supplier to this sort of scenario in, in, in a, in a no, factory farm. No, but we're not... It, the, the food industry is full of... makes me feel like it's full of lies. I, I'm not being judgmental in any way because no. you, you were serving chicken, you know, previously. I've eaten the chicken. You know, we're all party to this. They do not want you to see this. Yeah. And we're focusing here on one chicken. There's 39,999 more here. And this is one shed. And mm. there are multiple, multiple sheds in sheds, here. Yeah. So there's around about 250,000 poor babies like this one. And this is just one farm. There's 1,500 farms like this in the UK. A lot of them, it's, it's a really, it's difficult for them to get up because their legs are, are not strong enough to carry their bodies. And also, they have nowhere to go. In the UK, we slaughter around about 850 million uh, chickens per year. People don't realize this, 95% of chickens are raised exactly like this in farms very similar, almost identical to this. But we're not trying to shame this particular farm. This is just, this is just the standard. This is the way it is. I think the system is, is cruel. Food technology has come on in such a way that we, we don't need to do this anymore. How can this be humane? The 
the statistics are that around about 4% of all of the, um, the chickens raised in the UK die before they ever get to, to the slaughterhouse. So you've got a barn here with around about 40,000 birds in. So this is like 1,500, maybe 2,000 birds will die here, they'll suffer to death, basically, as you can see here. I'm kind of lost for words about this, about this whole situation. It, it makes me feel like, as human beings, we've got a responsibility to make sure that this doesn't happen. She doesn't need to be like this. The system says this is okay. Well, what we'll do is we'll overcrowd the units yeah. and the ones that die, we'll just get rid of. Yeah. The numbers are so ginormous, but each one of those numbers is an individual like this bird here. Yeah. Um, and these are sentient beings. Imagine if we were filming in here and these were puppies. It's madness. It's like there's, people can't make the connection between, you know, the, the animals that they love, dogs and cats and horses, and then the animals that they eat, pigs and chickens and fish and cows. It's very sad. You do not deserve this. You do not deserve this. <laughs>